What's going on world? It's man Saint Uno back again for another one. And in today's video, we are going to talk about childbirth. Um, but not just the physical phenomena of childbirth. We are going to talk about just the concept in general of childbirth, creation, creating things, um, and why this is uh, essentially the highest form of, you know what I'm saying, the word has a lot of baggage, but witchcraft, essentially, but if you don't want to say that, you can just say manifestation or just garnering attention or energy funneling, energy direct, you know what I'm saying? It's just like the, it's like the biggest deal, you know what I'm saying? Um, even when we talk about, that's why uh, people who talk about like no fat, you know what I'm saying, the semen retention and all that kind of stuff, um, the kind of basis of their claim or the knowledge and stuff like that, it's like, oh, okay, semen has the the force to create life you know what i'm saying um and with this life creating force, like nothing else can create life when it and of course it needs the the embryo the egg or whatever you know what i'm saying to do that so um it's like you're you're saving all of this life force energy for yourself you know what i'm saying and i'm not here to say whether that's right or wrong i think it is wrong if you're if you're if you're in a relationship and you're with someone i wouldn't say oh you need to not bust you know what i'm saying because i think even getting down to what I'm talking about in this video with the childbirth um, magic or whatever, um, there is power in, you know what I'm saying, coming together. <laughs> no pun, in, pun intended, coming together, you know what I'm saying? So um, in that sense, I wouldn't say, oh, don't, even though you the people do say you can have sex and, you know what I'm saying, and then do stop before you ejaculate or whatever like that. Um, but I'm saying I feel like you know, it's not that deep. You know what I'm saying? Now, if we're talking about just beating your meat all the time, then, yeah, semen retention for sure is probably the way to go. Um, you know what I'm saying? Don't want to be beating your meat all the time. You know what I'm saying? But I, I get it, too, at the same time. I get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Be. But anyway, that's not what this video is about at all. Um, this video is about childbirth. You know what I'm saying? Physically and metaphysically. So the, the way I kind of uh, uh, happened upon this subject is I was watching academics. Well, I was a, yeah, I watch academics. I ain't afraid to say that I watch academics. I be having it on when I cook, you know what I'm saying? I be needing some um, to kind of, you know what I'm saying, keep just, it's just some shit I throw on in the background when I be cooking, you know what I'm saying? So I had the academics on, and he was talking specifically about Krishan Rock, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't follow, like, that whole world on its own, but if Act talks about it, then, you know what I'm saying, I click on this shit or whatever. And he was basically talking about how her numbers are through the roof right now. You know what I'm saying? Her, like, she, like, streamed her childbirth and she's got all, like, she going live. There's hundreds of thousands of people watching and shit like that. And it just made me think about instances in, I've seen in real life. And even, it, even if you, you could just think, look at, um, let's take social media, for example, right? And this is dumb, but there, it's still, the logic is still the same, right? You can, let's say there's like a, a woman or something, and she's just, just a regular girl, just a regular girl with a social media. So I guarantee, or, or especially a dude too, if a dude or a girl, if they have a post, other than like a post about getting married or something, which is still similar, it's still that joining of two energies that I'm talking about in this video, but a post about a baby being born or like a newborn baby or something like that, or a family baby picture or something like that, that post is going to get the most uh, attention, likes, comments, views, reactions um, on that person's page. If we're just talking about an individual who's not like a creator or something like, you know what I'm saying? It's just somebody who just uses IG or whatever for fun and they'd be posting and shit like that. The post they make, any post with that family energy, that um, whether it's a childbirth or a marriage or something like that, that's going to get the most attention on their page. You know what I'm saying? And that is not like that important in and of itself but that tells you something about um this witchcraft this energy that we're going to be talking about in general you know what i'm saying so yeah i saw Krishan. i'm like her shit going through the roof you know what i'm saying um and then academics actually called it a clout baby you know what i'm saying pointing at the fact that oh, okay this baby that she's having um because she was basically on live talking about her and blue face and stuff like that and it's like yo she's not even paying attention to the baby it's really just a clout baby you know what i'm saying but her numbers is going crazy right now you know what i'm saying there's a reason for that so it's almost to the point where it's like damn do people and, and it gets real weird in this social media age too because i've actually had that uh 
stop before. And also, I'm going to give a disclaimer before I get too deep into this video. I am not against anyone having children. Um, I would like to have children myself one day. Um, this is not me calling childbirth low vibrational or demonic or shit like that. So I'm not like, cause you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be like the, the bitter person. You don't, I don't want to be like the, the, you know what I'm saying? The person online and no relationship talking about relationships or the person with no children talking about, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I, I, I'm not that person. I'm not throwing stones. I'm not bitter. It's just presenting energy. So I have no horse in this race, having children or not having children, putting that disclaimer out there. Okay. So now back to the video though um so yeah he was calling it a clout baby and shit like that and just saying like damn the only reason why i did this is a clout and i was saying how even in my own personal life before even talking about celebrities and stuff like that i've had this thought cross my mind i'm like like i've had the term clout baby cross my mind and just looking at individuals in the world just seeing you know what i'm saying certain things um especially when we talk about like people who are promoting things or have, and everybody, everybody's promoting something online these days and stuff like that. So I've just noticed that like, oh, I'm not, and, it, and, it, and it's not to be like, oh, the only reason why you had the baby was because you wanted Instagram likes. But at the same time, Instagram is the new God, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying it's the only reason motherfuckers be having babies, but it, it definitely crossed their mind, you know what I'm saying? They couldn't wait to put up that post about that baby being born, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that because of all the energy that it brings, right? So this is the kind of crux of the video. So yeah, I was, I was looking at Krishan and then I also thought about um, in the Super Bowl when they had, uh, we had Rihanna perform at the Super Bowl, right? And she did her big baby reveal and it was like the biggest thing ever, you know what I'm saying? It was all, everybody, it's all anybody could talk about, you know what I'm saying? So this just lets you see the amount of, energy right because that's all when we talk about witchcraft or magic or manifestation all it is is talking about energy you know what i'm saying there's there's energy out here and you know what i'm saying attention go, uh what is it energy flows where attention goes right so if something has it gets garners a great amount of attention that lets you know that a great amount of energy work has been done and the joining of two opposites masculine and feminine um, physically and metaphysically is the highest form of energy work or witchcraft or magic, whatever you want to call it. Right? So this is with this knowledge, you can employ this in your own life. And this is why I had to get the disclaimer because I'm like, this is one that's going to sound like I'm kind of throwing shade because here's what happens, right? A lot of people in life, um, like even like like let's think about the time when people even start having babies and stuff like that. Like if we're just being traditionally speaking, uh, it's say because like, people have babies in their teens, early twenties and stuff like that. People have babies in their thirties, maybe forties. I don't know. Women it gets a little iffy, um, but men definitely be having babies for however the fuck long. Um, but um, if it's usually when people start, especially let's talk about women specifically, right? People start knocking on your door. It's like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You used to about 28, 29, 30. Where them babies at? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know my mom specifically. <laughs> she told my dad on the first date. I think she was like 28 at some at the time. She was like, look, nigga, <laughs> I am not doing no just like if you're not ready to have kids you might as well walk out the door right now because, and she even she looking back on it, she was like, I was tripping. But it's like, at the same time though, it's like, cause she had um, experienced in her life, you know what I'm say, saying? Saying um, a lot of people, well not a lot of people, but just like people like her sister and other people who she knew, um, if they did have babies later on in life, like 35, 30, 35 plus or something like that, um, it's more likely to be born with birth defects and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So she was like, look, I need to pop, I'm about to be 30 and two, like, I need to pop these kids out, like, what you doing, you know what I'm saying, and my dad was like, fuck it, I'm about 28, 29, too, you know what I'm saying, fuck it, let's just have kids, now, there's nothing wrong with that, right, because if that didn't happen, I literally wouldn't be here right now, right, that's why I'm, I'm not throwing salt or shade or saying something is right or wrong, but let's just look at this, right, so, the same time around, a lot of people start having this urge to have babies, even though it is, yes, there is a biological aspect to it, talking about, especially I'm saying, talking about women um, with birth defects and stuff like that. Um, this is coincides around what time in your life? 28, 29, 30? 
that is when you have your Saturn return. And your Saturn return, without getting... <laughs> Ooh! Excuse me, needed that. Just had a big-ass salad. You know what I'm saying? A lot of roughage. Um, so your Saturn return, right? This is the point in your life where it's your first Saturn return. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, okay, you might have been bullshitting for all about this time, but it's, the Saturn return comes and it's like, hey, nigga, it's time for you to get serious. It's time for you to get disciplined. It's time for you to, you know what I'm saying, really just get serious about your life. That's what a lot of people start feeling that around that age. And this also coincides with the same age that people start feeling like, oh, shit, I might need to start having some babies or something like that, right? Now... Um, what happens is though, well, what can be the case is that a lot of people, this creative energy, let's say they, they may have had, um, a creative passion or a dream or something that they wanted to pursue in their life, but they kind of was just bullshitting about it in, in their teens and twenties and stuff like that. They didn't really get serious about it. And then the Saturn return comes, this is kind of like that energy starts to feel super excited and super agitated all right no okay you got to make this shit happen now right but a lot of times people what will happen is people instead of going okay it's time for me to get serious about whatever i'm trying to create whether it's my dream business my dream you know what i'm saying creative gifts you know what i'm saying start selling my art get, you know what i'm saying make a living off what i love whatever it kind of is the thing could be give birth instead of giving birth to circumstances and situations, you know what I'm saying? Shouts to Dolo the Pilot Man. He talks about how you give, if you can kind of raise the, the sexual energy to the higher chakras, you know what I'm saying? Then you give birth to situations and circumstances in your life. And when you talk about giving birth or to situations and circumstances in your life, all you're talking about is manifestation, witchcraft, magic, you know what I'm saying? So that, that energy starts knocking on your door around that same time as the Saturn return. But what happens with a lot of people is they'll feel that energy, but they'll also may get a start to start to feel like, well, damn, it may be too late or I don't know. or Oh, man, that does, they start to feel kind of guilty about them not going as hard or maybe like the stuff. OK, maybe like your childish dreams, um, those dreams may start to speak childish and things of that nature. So you kind of lose hope and faith in them. But that energy is still there. Like I need to do something right. So. What a lot of people, instead of going super hard at what they got going on in terms of their life and what they're trying to create in terms of their life and have children outside of their head, that energy stays in those lower chakras and it's like, oh, I need to have a child, you know what I'm saying? And then a lot of people will have children around that age and then their life comes completely becomes completely about that child, which I am not against, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, shout out to my parents, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, this... And my and now my mom's older and shit. She was like, oh, she's telling me how she used to want to be an actress and shit like that. Um, and I've seen other women because I'm in film industry. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the older women that I have worked with who are getting in front of camera, it's like usually around the time of their second Saturn return. You know what I'm saying? Late fifties, sixties type energy. Their kids have grown up, gone to college, and there's kind of like, okay, <laughs> I was able to. And it's gonna sound bad. So I have to give that disclaimer. But it's like. I was able to distract myself by raising my children. And I'm not saying raising the children is a distraction. It's a very important thing. But this, we got to just deal with reality here, too. People are like, oh, okay, I, my children are raised. I raised them up. I did what I had to do. Now it's really time for me to do what I want to do with my life. You know what I'm saying? And um, they'll start, try to get in front of it. The, they'll try to pick their passion back up around time with their second Saturn return. Because at the first Saturn return, um, you know what I'm saying? You're still, you think you're old, but you're really young in the grand scheme of things. And there's a lot more, you know, the younger you are, the more you like care about what people think and peer pressure and all that kind of shit. That's like going to school is like the worst. You really care, hyper care what everybody thinks and you get a little older. And by the time you're 60 and shit, you're like, fuck it, I'm living for me. I don't care what nobody thinks, you know what I'm saying? But around your first Saturn return, you still kind of got some of that little kid energy where it's like, oh, I don't want to, I want to, I don't want to look like a goofball. I don't want to like, I'm not an adult. You know what I'm saying? I don't want like I'm not serious. I don't. Oh, my parents asking if I'm gonna have kids and da 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 da. So it's like you just say fuck it. And it's like oh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have these kids now. And then a lot of people's life becomes about their children, which again, there's nothing wrong with that. But this is just understanding that that energy, that urge to have children, is the 
it's having children is the lowest form of the highest form of witchcraft. Now, that's essentially what I'm saying in this video, but it's not to say that, oh, don't have children, having children is low vibrational. No, it's, I wouldn't be here if people didn't have children, you know what I'm saying? We got it. I want to have children. It is what it is. But just, but since it is what it is and we're just talking about it, lowest form of manifestation or, or, you know what I'm saying, magic is having kids, is having children, right? So instead of you um, coming together, because here it is one, two, and third dimension and four, fifth, and sixth dimension, right? What is one, two, and third dimension? One dimension, personal, individual, me. I am a dimension in and of myself. Two, second dimension, two dimension. Oh, okay, there's a camera right there. There's a tree right there. You're a person watching this video. We have a relationship. We have a correspondence. That is a dimension of itself. And the one and two, this is why one plus one, me plus you, second, one, one, two, second dimension equals three, third dimension. Because within me relating to you, within me relating to this camera, within me relating to these trees, all of these relationships have to happen within a surrounding, a circumference, an area. They have to take place where? In the third dimension. So we live in the third dimension, right? So whenever you're able to create something in the third dimension, the lowest form of creating something in the third dimension is having a physical baby because we're talking about physical, you know what I'm saying? And so if we're going to talk about higher realms of, or higher, yeah, higher realms of manifestation, um, you're using that same template, me plus you, to create something new, one plus one equals three, except on a higher dimensional level. So this is the, um, I hate to say even higher because like it's nothing wrong with having kids, but like it's, it's higher in the sense that it's less physical, it's less dense, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's like low vibrational just means more physical, more dense, more based in material, you know what I'm saying? So you're creating actual organs. That's a child, you know what I'm saying? That's when you do the witchcraft that way, um, you coming together with another individual, y'all have a kid. And um, like I said, a lot of the times, this is why a lot of relationships fail and a lot of people with parents not with each other, you know what I'm saying? Because my parents ain't together, it wasn't together or whatever like that. And a lot of shit just kind of fizzles out because the urge really people be having is to do this higher form of manifestation, right? It's like to create their life, their dream life circumstance, to, you know what I'm saying? R really live out their dreams and to do the witchcraft on the higher version, which is fourth dimension, thoughts, I have a thought. I think I could be, uh, you know what I'm saying, Saint Uno. You know what I'm saying? That's a thought that I had. Fifth dimension, feeling, oh, damn, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I made this song, and I, it makes me feel a really good way. This song, oh, and I feel someone said that this song is really good, and oh, man, making music makes me feel this way. So, yeah, Saint, that thought that you could be Saint Uno, and that you can make a living off music, and you could be, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, whatever you can see, visualize yourself being, I feel that. Fifth dimension, those two things interacting, you know what I'm saying? That's why the cover art of this is like this, right? We're talking about sex magic at the end of the day when sex just being the joining of two energies. That thought and that feeling come together and they create sixth dimension, you know what I'm saying? And sixth dimension is just basically um, attention, right? Something that you pay attention to. So since a lot of people fail or are too afraid to do that, that witchcraft that because it's, it's internal right so a lot of people are lost in the external so instead of bringing my thought and my feeling together to create something that garners attention right something that's 6d that has its own unique character that's its own individual so now I'm, I'm like this own unique individual down here because i didn't just get a job like everybody else or i'm not just you know what i'm saying married with kids going to disney world like no i got some crazy i'm like you know what i'm saying nikola tesla or some shit or walt disney and it's like yo this dude literally created his own world. But what we're basically talking about is them giving birth to a circumstance or a situation. So it's lighter. That's why it's higher. It's not as heavy. It's not an actual physical child that they gave birth to. They gave birth to Disney World, to, you know what I'm saying, ESPN, Nike, brand. And it's not just all about business either. It could just be your own personal character. Um, this person is sad guru now. This person is, you know what I'm saying, the Pope now. This person is... Mother Teresa or, you know what I'm saying, NBA player, right? Whatever it, you want to talk about them being, they were able to bring that thought and that feeling that in, in, they're in their internal realm, 
bringing those things together and then create a, a something that garners attention in the one, two, and third dimension. But when a lot of people feel like they can't do this or they're not ready to do this or, you know what I'm saying, they don't understand that all of this stuff is witchcraft and it's just like you got to know what you're doing. Um, and they, and they, don't even, they don't even think about these energies that I'm talking about in that way at all. Um, a lot of times they'll just settle, which I'm not saying <laughs> having kids is bad, but they'll just say, okay, that energy will just get wound up in them and they'll just uh, have a child. And that child kind of is a quick fix, is a quick scratch for that same energy, you know what I'm saying? Because what, what happens when you have a child, you, you do become like, a star or a celebrity or like the most important thing for that little amount of time. But then it fizzles out because like I said, it's the lowest form of magic. It's the lowest form of the highest form of magic. Right? So yeah, you're able to, so that's why these celebrities, right. And stuff like that. Um, they're used whenever we have rituals like the Super Bowl, or we talk about somebody like Krishan, who's, um, trying to build her celebrity status up. Um, people or just individuals that you may know on a personal level doing stuff people will use this um childbirth witchcraft <laughs> this uh, this video is like making me feel guilty but fuck it we gotta talk about this you know what i'm saying they'll use this childbirth witchcraft to essentially uh like cash in and capitalize on all the attention that they're getting right because like i said it's the lowest form of the sixth dimension which is you know what i'm saying attention in and of itself but you're like you're getting it for the wrong reason. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't, instead of doing the witchcraft at the higher level, because, okay, just to personally, personally, I feel like um, there's nothing wrong with having kids, right? But when you let having kids stifle you from pursuing your dreams, and I'm not even saying you have to wait. I mean, personally, me, I feel like I have to wait until I've, achieved what I want to achieve and created the character and the situation and done that level of witchcraft on the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, bring my thought and my feeling together to create a character, a circumstance, something that garners attention. Um, and it's not even all about attention, but just like that has energy manifestation power. You can be some behind the closed door situation, but you still, you know what I'm saying, making a whole bunch of bread or you got a lot of power and shit like that. And you make shit move. That's still energy. It's just unseen versus seen, but it's attention nonetheless you creating something i feel like that um i feel like it's equilibrium right so it's not like oh i gotta wait to do that witchcraft before i can have kids or something like that or it's not like oh i'm gonna have kids because i feel like i can't do that really it's always about equilibrium if you can find someone this is when we talk about situ uh i was gonna say situationships but relationships versus spiritual shit because relationships are basically just situationships it's just somebody that you just, you know what I'm saying, y'all was in had a situation, and like I said, like, it's no, it's no coincidence that motherfuckers, um, have kids, just start, like, like, people pretty much just be having kids with whoever they are dating at the time that they're at this kid having age, you know what I'm saying, it's not like, oh, like, you may have had a better relationship with somebody when you were a teenager or in college or something like that, but since y'all weren't in that energy that I'm talking about, that Saturn return energy that, hey, Time to get serious about something. Time to do some witchcraft, nigga. Energy. Um, you know what I'm saying? You could have had an abortion or something like that. Or y'all don't even have a kid or something like that. And it's like, oh, okay, you don't think nothing of it. Whereas a lot of people just, whoever they have kids with is just whoever they're dating at the time where they get at that age. You know what I'm saying? Which is the wrong way to do it. Because you're just like, oh, okay. You're just feeling these energies and say, well, I'm with this person. I guess, I and mean, I'm 28. I guess this means that we're meant to get married or whatever. And... You know what I'm saying? That wasn't, quote unquote, the right person. Whereas if you can have equilibrium and say, okay, I know I'm not going to just use, if you're so focused on your mission to the point where that you, you do hit your Saturn turn and you start feeling these energies of, oh, I got to do something in life. If you don't let that scare you and just say, I'm going to just uh, have children and make my life about, all about my children, which is nothing wrong with that. I'm just, but perfect scenario, right? Instead of doing that, you say, no, I'm going to stick to what I got. I'm going I'm to make my shit happen the way I want it to happen, right? And then you are able to find someone, right? Because you didn't just settle for whoever you was fucking at the time or whatever like that. But you can find someone who's on that same mission 
or just a similar or complementary to that mission in some way who has whether or not it's the exact same interest in the physical realm it's just somebody who's on that same wavelength of yeah no i gotta make my shit happen like i can't just be out here bullshitting then y'all come together and do the same thing to produce a child right because you're basically doing the joining of two energies four from six dimension but instead of doing it in a quote unquote low vibrational way where y'all just fuck and have a kid y'all fuck and y'all do this like sex magic where it's like okay we're um we're gonna transmute this energy you know what i'm saying getting back to like uh what i was talking about with like semen retention and all that at the beginning of the video it's like no okay so when we fuck we not just gonna just say oh yeah i got a kid like i'm gonna have on my mind what i'm trying to manifest you gonna have in your mind what you trying to manifest and we gonna it's really gonna be the same thing we're gonna create this circumstance because we're already in the same realm anyway like i said we got complementary interests we're into the same thing and we didn't just settle for somebody who was just, okay, I'm just fucking this person and I'm 28. It's like, no, it may have took a little longer for us to find each other and stuff like that. But now that we're here, let's not just say, oh, okay, let's have kids. Let's, let's use that same magic, right? Because we see that coming together and having kids, um, you know what I'm saying? That joining of two energies is super powerful and garners a super amount of attention. Instead of doing that, let's have the right shit on our mind to give birth to something lighter not something physical right so now we can live our dream life manifest our dreams circumstances scenarios situations and shit just starts working out and then y'all are moving 10 times faster you know what i'm saying because yeah shit you may have been making no progress as you were doing shit on your own but you you married your thought and your feeling together for so long and you stayed and you gave it attention for so long four fifth and sixth dimension to eventually it turned into a physical situation down here of you meeting somebody else who y'all can be on that same type of time together and then y'all don't just get lost in desires and just say, oh, okay, let's just have kids. No, y'all do this. Y'all still stay on y'all mission, but now it's teamwork makes the dream work and y'all doing y'all mission together and y'all bad motherfuckers and then y'all gonna be unstoppable, right? And y'all know that, you know what I'm saying? And then y'all bring, um, y'all give birth, instead of giving birth to kids, y'all give birth to a dream situation, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? Everything's cool. And now that y'all did that, like let's be, let's get physical you know what i'm saying turn on a marvin Gaye. uh what's the goddamn um then i that feeling i want to say she won't hear do 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 say she won't hear you know what i'm saying throw that shit on and yeah we can make some kids because we did what we were supposed to do you know what i'm saying we did what we wanted to do you know what i'm saying we lived out the dream we created the scenario we did the witchcraft on the fourth fifth and sixth dimension we brought our thoughts and our feelings together internally and then that led us to each other where if i'm the man i'm the thought you the woman you the feeling we're gonna do that witchcraft down here in the third dimension you know what i'm saying and instead of just having a child you know what i'm saying there's two physical objects relating and creating something down here no we did it as witchcraft where it's like okay nah i'm the thought you the feeling we coming together and now we have this empire this character this circumstance this situation that's able to garner the same amount of attention or well, actually way more attention right because it's not as fleeting as like you just posting a baby pic you know what i'm saying on instagram or something like that you know what i'm saying so that energy is like even more potent you know what i'm saying and then now y'all are kind of quote unquote free to have children and do you know what i'm saying shit that way you know what i'm saying and um I understand life ain't perfect and you know what I'm saying everybody got different circumstances situations and shit like that and this is not to say oh okay this is how you should live your life but at the same time I am saying though that the joining of two energies is you know what I'm saying the highest witchcraft of all time so if you can do this in a controlled way and not just be lost in desires and just lost in the flesh and just be out here doing things willy-nilly not understanding that you're doing witchcraft when you do have these encounters then um circumstances and situations can play out a lot positively and you may not and even if y'all don't stay together for forever or something like that it don't turn to some situation where it's like oh it's resentment and it's weird you know what i'm saying y'all understand y'all did what y'all had to do and you know what i'm saying and it's and it's no bad blood and it's just everything's i don't say everything's cool because you know what i'm saying life's always an uphill battle but that's just the way I would advise, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I visualize my life and how I would, what I would tell someone else, you know what I'm saying, is um, don't, when you feel these urges like, oh, I just got to have a kid or I just got to do some physical shit, understand that this is just energy and that it's just, it's really like you're keeping it in a quote unquote low vibrational space by just saying, oh, okay, well, I'm just going to go fucking have kids and shit like that. 
when it's like, no, use that same energy, transmute it to give birth out of your head and create circumstances and situations in your life. You know what I'm saying? And then use that uh, same energy to, you know what I'm saying, find a partner who's on that same type of time. And then, you know what I'm saying, this is how you take over the world. You know what I'm saying? That's why we even got monarchies with kings and queens and shit like that. Like, it's, they understand. Like, it's not about, yeah, we got uh, presidents on our shit in America, but that's some after the fact shit. You know what I'm saying? It all started, what, in Europe. You got the king and you got the queen. You know what I'm saying? So, and they run the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? It's no man. So, it's not just, oh, the pre- one president. No, it's a, it's, a, it's a witchcraft. It's a masculine and a feminine entity, you know what I'm saying? And that's how and that's how they you can even look at it like that because like look at it in presidents in the United States. President be president for what? For 8 years max. We talk about monarchies and shit like that. Motherfuckers be ruling the same country for centuries, you know what I'm saying? You get Edward the 3rd, Edward the 16th, Jean-Claude the 28th and shit like that cuz it's like it's way more potent because their rulership wasn't just based on some, oh, yeah, people vote and, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, they was practicing, okay, joining the masculine and the feminine. So they're able to reign for a much longer um, portion of time because it's a, it's a higher uh, version of the witchcraft of bringing two energies together. So, yeah, that's essentially it. Um, these energies ain't nothing to play with. Um, childbirth isn't just physical. It's via circumstances and situations as well and um the powers that be and celebrities and shit like that utilizes energy um for low vibrational things to kind of get your attention and shit like that um to get you focused on what they got going on to build their world because they understand how powerful that energy is but they're also doing it in the same they're doing it these puppets that are doing this and stuff like that they're playing it out in the one two and third dimension but they're still serving um thoughts and feelings in the fourth fifth and sixth dimension that are basically they're doing the witchcraft and just using these celebrities and shits as puppets to facilitate whatever circumstances they want happening in the world so yeah re- yeah you're just looking at rihanna having a baby on the super bowl but they had their own intention their own witchcraft behind the way the stage was set up and the even to all the you know what i'm saying all the the rainbows and shit like that, her whole army of male rainbow dancers, you know what I'm saying, behind her, and so, like, you under, they had their own agendas, they were creating circumstances and situations in the one, two, and third dimension, oh, okay, yeah, 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 but they did it with the witchcraft, too, it's like, okay, so, yeah, this baby that's in Rihanna's belly is going to be the birth of our new situation, our new circumstance that we're bringing down here to, um, via the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying, which is just a super attention getting energy witchcraft anyway you know what i'm saying so know that it's none to play around with but now that you do know that you can use it for your own power you know what i'm saying and create your own monarchy monarchy and your own empire and really start to um you know what i'm saying get your foot in the game because that's really that really be what a lot of um like shouts to the uh the honorable the honorable elijah muhammad and shit, like i ain't no like a uh, hebrew israelite or nothing like that but one of the things that, you know what I'm saying, everybody got knowledge, you know what I'm saying? And one of the things he do be talking about, he says, like, the most important um, aspect of, like, building a community or having sovereignty or, you know what I'm saying, a civilization and shit like that is it starts with the home, you know what I'm saying? It starts with the family. And if, like, you can even look at, like, black people in America and shit like that. It's like they at the bottom of the totem pole, economically, socially, all that kind of shit, and... This is reflected in their romantic situations. They have the most trauma. They have the most infidelity. The most, oh, black men never, always dating outside their race. And, oh, and black women always, you know what I'm saying, a strong, independent black woman and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff is not by chance. You know what I'm saying? The, the destruction of the family is going to lead to the destruction of the civilization at large and vice versa. If niggas got their family game intact, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people trying to change the world and do all this kind of shit. It's like, you don't got to go out into the world and change the, like, find somebody on your wavelength, come together, do this witchcraft. That's what they did. That's what the kings and the queens did. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. You know what I'm saying? We are meant to, we are, we are meant to just, you know what I'm saying? It's not all deep. Like, we're just meant to come together and, and do our thing and have kids, but also not just physically. 
metaphysically as well, create circumstances and situations. So this is a very important energy to be aware of and to not let go wasted, but also not to um, be abused as well. So take that for what you want to take it for. Um, that's pretty much it. I appreciate y'all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.